I'm just coming back to it now and uh, I've got 3.85 volts going into that battery and I've forgotten what this meter's doing actually the, uh, apparently got no amps going in perhaps I've hooked it up wrong but we're running this motor now just solely off uh, a 6210 battery I think it is and it's going into an 8210 battery which was completely dead and wouldn't hold a charge or if you did hold a charge you'd only switch the phone on for about 2-3 minutes and then go straight back off again so I'm quite interested to uh, find out if, uh, if the phone will stay on for more than 5 minutes for one but uh, ultimately if we can do uh, a proper load upon it now I've been told that like uh, you have to have the uh, charge voltage uh, at least two volts, a potential difference over the top of uh, what the actual battery is. It, this does actually make some sense to me because uh, all Nokia chargers are five volt, and all Nokia batteries seem to be 3.6 volts. I could be wrong about that, but and that. Uh, you are getting like a, a decent 1.4 volts extra out of that. Now, uh, I'm going to come back to this in another 15 minutes or so. And we'll see what the uh, charge on the battery is then. And uh, if the battery actually powers up the phone. Yeah, we're still getting zero on that. Let's, let's have a quick gander. Oh no, it is hooked up. Well, no, it's not. <laughs> That's why it's on zero then. And we'll just have to check this out from uh, the load instead. Okay. Must have fell off. Right, we're still getting uh, 3.85 over the. Uh, more dead battery. The uh, it's been slow enough. I took the sleeve off it to make it spin uh, more nicely now. I've got uh, this coil in parallel with this coil. Turns out that uh, I forgot to hook this one up. That's why it's uh, I was on zero in the last one. I don't know if you can see here, but uh, uh, we've only got two bars back on uh, this battery. I don't know if I can light the screen up and yeah, it's not showing anything. <laughs> yeah, there's two bars there anyway. Right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, turn the power off to this then. So I've got the battery here. And uh, I think we should have a quick look. It's a bit broken. <laughs> I remember uh, soldering the uh, red LEDs in this. We've actually got three bars on that. I don't know if you can see that. It'll be quite interesting to see how uh, long this will stay switched on before it goes off because uh, it used to switch on for about, about five minutes tops and then just go off. I think we should try and uh, do a load test on it. Uh, I'm quite pleased at that. <laughs> 